on the high road to heaven, uh, everything is dreary and depressing. Well, you need to come to the driver on a Saturday afternoon in the Council of ex Muslims of Britain here yeah. to see what a real party is like. Yeah. Now, imagine there have been a couple of speeches already. And I'm always very fond of pointing out to people that when you come later on in the day, late in the afternoon, and you speak after other people have spoken, all you can do is to repeat what they've said. So I say here, here, to everything I've said earlier. But I just want to say one thing about the very great importance of, firstly, of being liberated, to be able to think, to be able to talk, to be able to experience, to be able to find out, to be able to relate to other people, to be able to take an interest in this world of ours with all its variety and diversity, all the fascinating things there are about our history, our present time, our physical reality, our outer space, the discoveries of science, to do all these things without having to peek through the keyhole of some ideology that tells us how to interpret it. I mean, to have, a, to have a, an opportunity to think and read and discuss and listen and learn freely is a truly wonderful thing. And unless you've been in this situation, and most of us in this country have been incredibly fortunate, really, to grow up in a, in a set of circumstances where if we find that the conventional attitudes and beliefs or the religion we've been brought up in, if we find can you still hear me anyway? I can hear you. <laughs> to, to, to be able to free oneself of those sorts of constraints, that, that narrowing vision that limits our ability really to make contact with other people in the world around us, that's something we've had the tremendous privilege of in this country. Even people here who are brought up in a religious tradition are able to leave that tradition and to think differently and freely without fear. But there are so many places in the world, right across the world, in the Middle East, in Afghanistan, in Pakistan, in Bangladesh, there's so many places, Iran, where Marianne comes from, there's so many places in the world where to think freely, to try to find out something, to get hold of some facts, to talk openly with people about what you really feel and what your experience of the world is like, is a dangerous thing. And that simply is a crime against humanity. It's a crime not to have freedom of conscience and freedom of expression. Those are phrases, we're familiar with them, they're in all the documents, they're in the human rights and civil liberties documents that we're familiar with, but they're not realities for millions of people. And this kind of event today is another step on the road towards liberating the human mind and spirit and making it possible for people to have that kind of experience. That's why organizations like this, Council of Ex-Muslims of, of Britain, are so important because they provide an open door to people who are seeking friends away from the constraints that lie on their minds and on their hearts and make it impossible for them to be free and to think and talk freely. So I'm a great supporter of this organization. I think it's absolutely wonderful. I hugely admire the courage of the organization because even here, even in this country, People who take that stand and take it openly, who, who, who get up on, on the rock and proclaim the fact that they want to have a free and open mind and to be able to do all the things that a free and open mind allows you to do is a danger even here. So I take my hat off to the Council of Ex-Muslims of Britain. I really do admire everything that the Council is doing. I admire everybody in this room for being here today, for stepping up and giving their support and showing solidarity with this because we will eventually be heard, we will eventually overcome. We've done it here, we've done it in parts of, uh, of uh, Europe and North America and other places where you can stand up and speak with reasonable safety if you're a, a, a citizen of that country. But we want it to be the same for people everywhere in the world. And this is an important step, because every such step is an important step in that direction. So three cheers for the CEMB and my very, very warmest, warmest uh, good hopes for everything that they do. Let us hope that one day uh, in Iran, in Bangladesh, in different parts of the world where people still struggle, and they have an organization such as we have here, the National Secular Society, and we've got the, uh, the two senior guys, Terry and Keith, here from the National Secular Society, who do such good work. And generally speaking, generally speaking, 
they do it in safety. They are not in danger, it's the people they criticize who are in danger here. Danger in danger from ideas. Let's hope that that's the kind of danger there is in other parts of the world soon. But three cheers everybody, and thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.